Good day guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. In my last video tutorial, I talk about how to activate Excel Power Pivot Hardings in our Microsoft Excel interface or ribbon. Today, we are moving further into how to create data model with Power Pivot. Now, before we can really take advantage of the Power Pivot tools and start to create Pivot table based on multiple sources with relationship, we need to create what is called data model. And at the surface of all the data model, there is always a list. All right. Whether it is a single list, all right, just like a customer info here, or it is a multiple list, like a customer info and what and the what under info and a relationship built between those leads. So let's let us take a look at how we can create a data model. That, can, that contains all the two leads that is the order info and well, and the customer info are the two tabs down below my screen here and create a relationship between those two leads within our data model all right so first step how i'm going to go to my customer info here All right and i'm going to go up to my power pivot tab at the top of my screen here and give it giving a click you right now on my newly installed power pivots here tab i have got a few features here i've got things that i can utilize to build a work with with this list of this as a data model now my first step is i need to add this customer info list to my data model on my power pivot tab i got a section called tables you can see above it's there is also a add to data model tab option here so what i'm going to i'm going to do now is i'm going to give it a click all right so okay that's good i've been i've now created a a data model for customer info so let me name this as well as customer info all right now so that that which that that concept which concern a single is with just a single data of data inside of here it has got its own ribbon all right you can see it is own tools which is what we have pivot we have pivot table we also have an, an external again external data where you if you want to import data either online or through enemies we also got auto sum function as well on on in on its interface however i have got an exact duplicate of what of my of the list that leads back what inside of my what is there worksheet here it is just a link between link from what the that of the Z document into the power pivot and into the what my data model now this is just one source data list inside of my what, data model also how i'm going to go back into my worksheet here i'm going to go to my order info tab also and i need to add this to the world to the data model as well okay just give it a click on the world. you can click on anywhere on the interface on the list here then click 
on the world when you add the data model info then so i'll be able to add the other info as well into the world into the world the data model right let me name it other info all right now I have the abode inside of my what inside of my power pivot and room, which is one the customer info and what the order info. All right, just an exact plate of what of the data that I that leave back what inside of my what as a document. Now these are two different sets of what data with two different lists, all parts inside of the inside of the data with two inside of the data model now we can work with this list together but in other work in order to do that that and do it effectively i need to create a relationship between these two lists i need to tell how customer is related to their specific orders. In other words, in my previous video, I talk about how each customer contains a customer ID like this, which I have Hebel here in my order info, and as well, I also have Hebel in my words, in my customer info. All right. So, we got this common feed between these two sets of data, between this, between this set that we can now link together. Now, just for your information, if you are if you are a Microsoft Access user or some type of database user, you are probably familiar with this concept. If you are not data, if you are not database user or Microsoft Access user, this might be a bit new idea to you. This idea, though, is we have a common value, common feed between both sources that we do now link through. So let's take a look at how we can create the relationship or link or the link between the two data set so now inside of my power pivot here inside of my power pivot power pivot tool, i'm going to change the way i'm viewing my data model now on the home tab here at the top of my screen i got a section core view a view there's a tab called data view and what diagram view so i'm going to click on what the diagram view mm. now this is going to take me into an interface called diagram view, where i can see the two different data set on the two different table so now let me expand let me expand this out so that i can see all the field inside okay okay now inside the customer info i have got the what the customer id the customer id inside and the other info table i have got what the customer id as well now i am going to create the relationship relationship all i'm going to do is to grab customer id right from the word the left hand side of the word of the customer info table and then drag then drag it down and drag it down to the word customer id at the right hand side here yeah. You can see, you can see, 
You can see. So now I have now created a relationship between the two table. It is as simple as that. I added the data set to the what the data model through the power pivot where I have got two different data sets in them. That is the customer info and what and the holder info. I can as well go back. I can as well go back to the data to the data view data view here data view tab and give it a click to be able to uh, to see what uh, to see the data as well you can see once i go to the data set in the in data set in the data model i can then create the relationship between them now i can close i can close out this excel power bubble by now then get back into my my excel worksheet notes behind the scene we have got this that we have got the data model that is the customer info and the under info that i can now start to to report off and that is what we are going to talk about in my next video tutorial but first try this out open up the file create a data model through your power pivot tools just add the customer info and the order info then go to diagram view and create a relationship between them try this out however in my next video i'm going to show you how we can create a power pivot table on that data model thank you and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel as i'll keep giving you more of the is a uh, functions. Bye.